Tatum, Brown, Jackson, Bain, White, they're all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today. It is Sunday, November 26th. We're talking DraftKings and we're doing it right after this. But first and foremost, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman and then do this. Last day for our Black Friday sale, the promo code is SIMS. Get either our NBA package or our NFL package 50% off your first payment. If you haven't used us before, this is the opportunity to do so because it all ends tonight. Tonight at midnight, this deal goes away. So if you are looking to sign up at stochastic.com, click the link in the description, sign up for our SIMS tool, 50% off. First up at number five, I'm looking at Michael Porter Jr. Small forward, power forward, eligible 6,900, projected for 35. He's in the winning lineup 25% of the time. This is a really nice spot. The Spurs play ultra fast and they aren't a very good defense. So they gain two and a half possessions in this matchup. That's really big for Denver because they play pretty slow. 33 minutes here for MPJ, 22% usage, 20 points, seven boards and assists and a stock and a half. They're 11 and a half point favorites against San Antonio. You kind of want it to be at least a little bit close so that MPJ can play his final run. But as I look at it right now, the Denver Nuggets in particular, Michael Porter Jr., they look great. Kind of a similar story here for Orlando. Jalen Suggs in at number four. Point guard, shooting guard eligible, 5,500. Projected for 26. He's in the winning lineup 25% of the time. Playing about 27 minutes a night. He's a .95-ish fantasy point per minute guy. But matchup against Charlotte is always good. Pace up spot for Orlando. 13 points, four boards, three assists, and two stocks for Suggs. We don't have a ton of value on this slate. So finding guys in this 5K range with an MPE really helps round out your lineup. Santi Aldama in at number three, since basically all of the Grizzlies are out. Small forward, power forward eligible, 6,200. Projected for 32. Winning lineup 26% of the time. I went 32 minutes, but if you want to go to 33 or 34, I think that's also totally fine. He's a fantasy point per minute guy. It is a slight pace up spot for Memphis. They do gain a possession over their average taking on Minnesota. They're seven point dogs. It's a 15 point, seven and a half rebound, two assist line, maybe a steal, maybe a block. That's where it looks good, 0.8 for both. But again, $6,200 price tag easy to put into any sort of build, small forward, power forward, you get the MPE. These are the guys we're looking at for today. Jalen Brown in at number two, shooting guard, small forward, 8K, projected for 42. The goal is 52. He's in the winning lineup 26% of the time. No Kristaps Porzingis and potentially no Drew Holiday. That will completely change the game here. He'll look even better. 35 minutes for Jalen Brown, a 1.2 fantasy point per minute spot because this is a really nice pace up opportunity for Boston against Atlanta. They're seven point favorites here. 26 points on 28% usage, six boards, three assists, and a stock and a half. Very easy to get to Jalen Brown. That shooting guard small forward eligibility does everything for you. Finally, in at number one, we're going Cole Anthony. I mentioned Orlando before. We're going straight back here again. Point guard, shooting guard eligible, 5,900. Projected for 29. You're looking for 40. Optimal lineup, 33% of the time. I went 26 minutes for Anthony. He's somewhere between a 1.05 to 1.15 fantasy point per minute, dude. Great matchup against Charlotte. 15 points, just shy of five boards, four assists, stock. You get 0.7 for steals, 0.4 for for blocks. That's a stock. That's what we're looking at. But 5,900, again, we don't have any real pay down value on this slate as of like what, 9.54 a.m.? We've got a couple teams on a back-to-back where we don't know their injury report. If we unlock more value, they will climb to the top and you'll see the more expensive guys rise as well. But for now, Cole Anthony is your number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Sunday, November 26th. FanDuel version is around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We are back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.